and welcome to the Philly Q. We're live from Play 2 at Chickies and Pete's in South Philadelphia. Let's give it up for our referee, Sigourney. She keeps things in order. She's wearing the stripes tonight. This is a dream matchup. In the blue corner, we have the dynamic defense attorneys with Jack McMahon at the helm, the captain of the team. And on the red side, of course, the dynamite DA's office, of course, with District Attorney Seth Williams as their fearless leader. Here's the way the Philly feud works. The teams will face off in four rounds, guessing the top answers to poll questions and lists about Philadelphia. Correct answers are worth 10 points. Incorrect answers gives your opponent a shot at the board, and we'll go back and forth until all team members make an attempt or until the board is filled. Let's bring up our captains, though, from the blue team, Jack McMahon, and from the red team, Seth Williams. All right. You guys are longtime adversaries. Are we ready? We're ready. The question is, according to Philly.com, what are the top seven Jersey Shore foods? Jack McMahon. Pizza. 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 Yes, it is, right? You got control of the board. What are the top seven Shore foods, Jack? Uh, hot dogs. Hot dogs? Hot dogs are not on the board. I would have gone there, too, with the Snow White hot dogs. Cheese steak. Cheese steak. Are they cheese steaks at the Shore? Oh, there it is, right there. It's yeah, steak sandwiches. Sausage and steak sandwiches. So, you know, sausage was first. All right. Water ice. Water ice. Let's see, is water ice on the board? Water ice is not on the board, Seth. You're dismissed. I'm going to say ice cream. Ice cream. Let's see, we got ice cream out there. Ice cream, frozen custard. Of course, we're talking about Core Brothers, right? Absolutely. All right, they keep going, Brian. You got control. French fries. French fries. Number one answer. Oh, we love the curly fries at the Jersey Shore, right? All right, according to Philly.com, Brian, what are the top seven shore foods? Crabs. Crabs? You got any crabs on this? Crabs are on the beach, Brian. I think you got confused. No crabs. All right, you're out. Let's move over to Ed from the DA's office. All right, Ed. Saltwater taffy. Saltwater taffy. The number two answer. That's correct. All right. And you can put them away. Keep going. Fudge. Fudge. Oh, Laura's fudge and all that stuff. Oh, it's not on the board, Ed. All right. Water ice. Water ice. Do we have water ice on the board? Water ice is not on the board. Oh, that's a shocking upset. He weren't listening. They said that over there. Not paying attention to detail. Disbarment. Caramel corn. Caramel corn. That's a great answer. Is it up there? Oh, Melissa, it's not up there. Oh. Sorry about that. All right, we move over to Waleed from the Jack McMahon team. Funnel cake. Funnel cake. Let's see, we got funnel cake on it. Oh, yeah, number five. Waleed could be, he could be the ringer in this crew. All right. Cotton candy. Cotton candy. That's got to be up there, right? It's not up there. Oh. That's a violation. Don't blame me. It's Philly.com you want to blame. All right, we move over to Jan. All right, Jan, you got one answer left. Can you score that last answer? Top seven shore foods. Muscles. Muscles. Do we have muscles? Well, wait a minute. The judges, the judges may have to. What is the last answer? Steam clams. I don't Close know. What enough. do you think? Close enough. I think. Close enough. I think you guys are going to give it to them. All right. The DA's office has 30 points on the board, but our defense attorneys have 40 points. All right. And it's 40 to 30, defense attorneys. When we come back, we'll have a sports question from Rankopedia. Round two of the Philly Feud. Stay tuned. We're coming right back. Hi. This is Pete from Chicky and Pete's. Chickie and Pete's has been recognized as the best sports bar in North America. We couldn't have done it without you, our loyal fans. You know, the Philadelphia sports fan wears their heart on their sleeve and has the enthusiasm like no other city in America. So at this time, we'd like to thank you for supporting your teams and supporting us at Chickie and Pete's, making us number one. Come down to Chickie and Pete's at Packer Avenue and see the trophy for being the number one sports bar in North America. We'll see you here at Chickie and Pete's. Welcome back to the Philly Few. We're live from Play 2, Chickens and Peace in South Philadelphia. If you want to try out or come to a taping of the show, just visit our website, phillyfew.com. You get all the details. It is time to introduce our two teams. And you might want to have Team Blue on your side if you're getting a little trouble. They are the dynamic defense attorneys. Let's introduce them. The captain of Team Blue, 
Jack McMahon, 35 years in criminal law. He is the son of NBA player, NBA coach, and Sixers assistant head coach and personnel director, Jack McMahon. <laughs> now your squad, to your right, is Brian McMonigle. We all know Brian. He's a former Philly prosecutor, but he wanted to make some money, so he became a criminal defense attorney. Good right? to be here, Mike. Thank you for coming, Brian. And the man next to him is a criminal defense attorney. He is a very famous guy in the city of Philadelphia. His name is Fortunato Perry. We know him as Fred Perry, the pride of Frankfurt High. And get this, ladies and gentlemen, he was the person who gave Pete Cherokee the idea to open Chickies and Pete's right here on this location. Don't is that right, Fred? It. Don't ever forget that. And Don't ever forget that. Be because of that, he gets the bar gate tonight. Every dollar that you buy, it goes to Fortunato Perry. And finally, we have Waleed Youssef, a paralegal at the law office of Jack McMahon, two-time uh, wing bowl competitor. I never heard of that. Uh, uh, ignore that station. All right, that is Team Blue. And now Team Red, ladies and gentlemen, they are the Dynamite DA's office. Seth Williams, first African-American DA in the state. Lifelong Philly sports fan. I've talked sports with him a lot. Loves going to Eagles, Phillies, and Sixers games with his daughters, Taylor and Hope. Also a foodie who enjoys the Food Network. And he watched the live taping of the show Chop last year, Seth. With my daughters. Yeah, yeah. Dad, what is your specialty in the kitchen? Everything. Yeah? Yes. You can whip it up? Not at all. Very nice. Guess, <laughs> guess what? You're not working enough hours if you're making food in the kitchen. All right? To your left, we go to Ed McC McCann, first assistant district attorney. He's a seasoned prosecutor. He's put countless murderers behind bars. And, of course, they had to bring some class to the panel. We have Melissa Francis, assistant chief of Northeast Bureau of the DA, DA's office, a proud Philadelphian. And, finally, she rescued the team in the last round. Jan McDermott, chief of the DA's Southwest Bureau, best known for grilling bad guys on the stand at CJC, but she has a softer side. Jan's been known to put on the San Nancy Sinatra albums and put her to shame. She sings a rendition of These Boots Are Made For Walking. You know I'm going to ask you to do a couple bars there. No problem. All right. <laughs> give, it, give it to us right now, Jan. Go ahead. You keep saying you've got something for me. Something you call love but confess. Wow. Very nice. You want me to stop now? No, that's real good. And I'll bet you that sounds real good with about five beers in you, right? And I want to say, Mike, my husband and two of my children are here and lots of McDermott. Oh, I got, we got the McDermott's back here. All righty, it is time to get started for uh, round two. Let's bring up Brian McMonagle from the Dynamite, or the Dynamic Defense Attorneys, and Ed McMahon from the DA's office. All right, boys, you know how the, uh, it works here. The question number two is, according to Rankopedia, rank the top flyers of all time all right we got ed bobby clark bobby clark he's got to be number one right yes he is number one nice job ed all right you have control of the board top flyers of all time bernie perrant bernie perrant has to be number two right he is number two all right ed uh mark Howell. mark Howell. he's got to be on it as well he's number five uh-oh top flyers of all time eric lindros Eric Lindros. Is Eric Lindros on the board? Oh, man, this is getting exciting. Can he sweep the board, this Flyer fan? Top Flyers of all time. Ron Hextall. Ron Hextall. Hey. Is Hexy on the board? He is number six on the board. Paul Holmgren. Paul Holmgren. Is Paul Holmgren on the board? He is not on the board. Come on, Ryan. I'm going to say Schultz. He's going to say Schultz, and I'm going to say no. Sorry, bro. Rick Tockett. Rick Tockett. Is he, oh, she's, because he's cute, right? That's nah. why he said that. Is Rick Tockett on the board? He's not on the board. Uh-oh. And now we go to Fred Perry. All right, Fred, there are Water two ice. left here. Top flyers of all time. <laughs> Water ice. Is what, no. Water ice. Go ahead, Fred. Who do you have? John LeClaire. Johnny LeClaire. He's got to be there, right? John LeClaire is number seven. Yeah. John LeClaire. Tim Kerr. Tim Kerr. Now, that's a great answer. Is it on the board? No, not on the board. All right, that means Jan. There's one guy left. This guy's a very famous flyer. Do you have him? I have no idea. No idea. Uh, Waleed, do you have him? Uh, Claude Giroux. Claude Giroux. We're going to new school. Claude Giroux is not on the board. All right, Seth. Last chance for your squad. Rick McLeish. Rick McLeish. 
He's a Broad Street bully, but he's not there, Seth. And Jack, it's up to you. The Hound. The Hound, Bob Kelly. Kelly. Bob Kelly is not on the board. This man is a Hall of Famer. He was a Broad Street bully. He played on Clark's line. Show him the final answer. Bill Barber. Oh, how about that? All right. Round two is now over, and the score's getting tight. Sigourney, you've been keeping score. What do we have? Defense attorneys have 50 points on the board, but the DA's office took the lead and now have 80 points on the board. Uh oh. 80 to 50. This is a match right here. When we come back, Rabbi, we'll have round three and more of this exciting competition. Let justice be served right here on the Philly View. We're back after this. All right, let's bring up our third contestant, Fred Perry and Melissa Francis. Come on up. Question three. Good sportsmanship here. All right, according to DestinationGuide.com, I know you're an avid reader, Fred. Yes. yes DestinationGuide.com, name the top movies filmed in Philadelphia. All right, I believe that was Fred. Philadelphia. Philadelphia. He goes with Philadelphia. Is Philadelphia on the board? Number two on the board is Philadelphia. Trading All right, places. trading places. Fred Perry goes with. It is uh, number four. Of course, Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy filmed right here in Philadelphia. Keep going, Fred. Rocky. Rocky. Rocky's got to be the number one. Yeah. It is the number one answer. Look at you, Rocky. <laughs> You're going crazy here. All right. Name the top movies filmed in Philadelphia, Fred. Is this what it is? This the end of the line for you, Fred? <laughs> Bruce Willis. Where I go, eh. <laughs> You're telling me not, not enough time. All right, move over to Melissa. All right, Melissa, the top movies filmed in Philadelphia. Silver Linings Playbook. Silver Linings Playbook. It's not on the list. Destination.com, I think, took the survey before the Oscars. All right, so we now we move over to Waleed from the defense attorneys. All right, Waleed, according to DestinationGuide.com, top movies filmed in Philadelphia. Six Cents. The Six Cents. That's what you were thinking about, Fred. Six Cents is number three. There you go. Rocky Top five movie in Philadelphia. Rocky five. I think they've used the Rockies up there. Rocky is not up there, right? Now Rocky took care of all of it. Not good. We go to Jen. All right, Jen. You look at that sly look in your eye, Jen. Do you know it? Witness. Oh. Witness. Witness in number seven. And that, of course, was Harrison Ford and uh, uh, and when Kelly McGillis was a babe, by the way. Twelve monkeys. Twelve monkeys. Oh yeah, twelve oh. monkeys. Yeah, we Ooh. saw. That was feel, awesome. We saw. Like, we saw. Do some work and sound quiet like the down there. Quiet. <laughs> We're gonna throw you out of court. City Hall was seen a lot. It won't there. be the first time. All right. According to Destination.com, keep rolling. Top movies in Philadelphia. Fallen. Fallen. It's fallen in there. Fallen is not there. All right, Jack. For all this bluster, it's now up to you. Jack. Blowout. Sorry, it's wrong, Jack. I'm I sorry. change it. I'm going to take another one. <laughs> I don't even know this last one. Show us the last one, number six. Dress to Kill is up there. Dress to Kill. Did anybody here see Dress to Kill? Angie Dickinson. Angie Dickinson. Wow, that's an old school movie. Look at McMonagall. about 70 years old. He's seen that movie. All right, Sigourney, after round three, what kind of a score do we have out there? Our defense attorneys have 90 points on the board, while our DA's office has 100 points on the board. All right, so the DA's office is in control right now. When we come back, we'll have round four right here on the Philly Feud. We're back after that. Hi, this is Pete from Chicken and Pete's. Chicken and Pete's has been recognized as the best sports bar in North America. We couldn't have done it without you, our loyal fans. You know, the Philadelphia sports fan wears their heart on their sleeve and has the enthusiasm like no other city in America. So at this time, we'd like to thank you for supporting your teams and supporting us at Chicken and Pete's, making us number one. Come down to Chicken and Pete's at Packer Avenue and see the trophy for being the number one sports bar in North America. We'll see you here at Chicken and Pete's. All righty, welcome back. We're here at Play 2 Chickies and Pete's. It is round four of the Philly feud. Let's bring up Waleed Youssef from Team Blue. 
the dynamic defense attorneys, and Jan McDermott from the Dynamite DA's office. All right, here is the question. We surveyed 76 people in the Delaware Valley. See what we did there with 76? And we asked this question. If you had to design a postcard for Phil, <laughs> it's Jan. Jan, if you had to design a postcard for Philadelphia, I didn't finish the question, but what is your answer? City Hall. Oh, so she got it. City Hall. What would be on the front is the question. Is City Hall on there? It is number four, Jan. Boathouse Row. Boathouse Row. It's Boathouse Row. I fall. It's number five. Liberty Bell. The Liberty Bell. The Liberty Bell has to be on it, right? Unless we're a communist. And Liberty Bell is on. Love statue. Love statue. Love park. Love statue. Number seven, Jan. Art museum. Art museum. Is the art museum on the list? It is. The art museum, or we would have taken the Rocky statue, which of course we all know is a nice piece of art. All right, Jan, two left. Independence Hall. That's Independence Hall. Is Independence Hall on the list? No, it's not on the list. What? Uh, Jan, don't blame me. Don't kill the messenger. What would be on the postcard? The Philly skyline. The Philly skyline. Oh! That's the number one answer. I swear I didn't give that to him. All right, you got one left, Fred. Citizens Bank Park. Citizens Bank Park. Sports yeah! Complex! I don't believe it! Fortunato Perry has rescued! Has rescued the defense attorney! Sigourney, did they close the gap here of the Philly feud? No, they did not. Uh -oh. our, defense, <laughs> our defense attorneys have 110 points on the board, while our DA's office has 150 points. Oh, 150 for the DJ, DA's office, 110 for the defense attorneys. However, the Miller Lightning Round is coming up. The team behind will have a chance to come back. A potential 200 points are on the board. We're coming right back on the Philly Feud. Don't go anywhere.